What's up everyone? Today we are doing the molar mass of butane lab. And so butane, of course, is the gas found in your everyday regular lighters. And we are gonna use the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, uh, to figure out the number of moles of butane. And we can use the scale to figure out the number of grams, which will eventually give us the molar mass, grams over moles. So to do that, we're gonna take um, the pressure of the butane. We're going to take the temperature of the butane using this thermometer. And we're also going to take the volume of butane by collecting about 50 milliliters in this graduated cylinder here. So using all that data uh, and calculations, eventually we'll be able to figure out the molar mass of butane um, from the data. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so the first data I'm going to collect is the initial mass of the lighter uh, and so we're actually going to dip it in water to replicate the conditions it'll be in later okay so once I dip it in water I want to try to dry this off as best as I can so that's what I'm going to do here I'm just going to shake it off give it a good shake and again I want to remove all the water because we're just trying to measure how much butane we're collecting right so one possible error uh, or mistake that could affect the data is if I have leftover water, then I'd be measuring the water instead of the butane gas that's leaving. And so we don't want that. We're just trying to figure out how much butane gas we're using in this experiment. So I'm gonna give it a few more good shakes and then we're gonna take the initial mass of the lighter here. All right, it's pretty dry. 10.63 grams is the initial mass of the lighter. The final mass will come after I've collected some of the gas from this butane lighter. All right, next I'm going to read the temperature here. So as you can see, the temperature reads 22 degrees Celsius. So that's 22 degrees Celsius for the temperature of the water here. And we're gonna use that temperature to figure out the pressure exerted by the water, the vapor pressure, okay? And that'll help us uh, calculate the pressure of our gas. So next, I'm gonna do the main procedure of the lab. I'm gonna collect my butane gas in this graduated cylinder. And so what I've done is I've filled the graduated cylinder completely and then I've inverted it over the water. So it's all filled with water, but there is a little air bubble in there, okay? And that happens sometimes and so um, this air bubble could affect my data because now I'm not just collecting butane, uh, I am also collecting a little bit of air in there. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the lighter under and I'm gonna collect the gas. So as I press the button, the butane rises to the top and that's because of density. And I am going to collect about 50 milliliters. So a lot of butane gas here. I'll give you the exact number once I've collected it. I'm gonna be pretty liberal and try to collect a lot. Okay, another mis error that could happen is if the butane gas doesn't go inside the cylinder, then I've lost some of that butane gas. Okay, so I've got 50 milliliters here. And next, I just need to dry this and measure it again. All right, so I'm gonna dry the lighter and get the final mass. And that will allow us to calculate how much um, butane was used right, and how much the mass of butane that I collected. So I gotta shake it off, make sure I get all that water out. Oops. Shake your can. Okay. Again, we wanna remove all the water so that we're just measuring how much butane was used. Um, if I did have some water in here, that could affect my data. 
so we're trying to minimize that. All right, the final mass of the lighter, let's see, 10.51 grams. Okay, so use that to figure out the mass of butane that we used.